The Hamilton County Fair comes to McDonald Farm November 10th through the 12th. And while our next guests are excited about all three days of the fair, they are especially eager to see the crowds enjoying the fun on Sunday. So Jay Cash is here. He's with Tennessee Valley Federal Credit Union. With him is Jeremy Francisco, who is the director of the East Tennessee Symphony Orchestra. And they together are bringing the fun on Sunday, which includes a performance from the orchestra and fireworks courtesy of TVFCU. That's right, we're super excited to end with a great finale yes. with the orchestra and the fireworks. People are gonna really enjoy it. This has been like fair week here on the show because yeah. Karen Shostak, who is uh, with Hamilton County, uh, getting the fair ready was here a few days ago. Karen is the mastermind. It was almost impossible to keep her in her seat because she was so <laughs> excited about Sunday. It's a big, big day. It is a big day. Yeah, it's a whole big weekend, really. I mean, Lauren Elena, Brandon Davis, it's going to be a great fireworks show. I have to say we're pulling out all the stops That's on that. That's what she said. And the orchestra, I mean, is classic. Yes, and, and we're able to um, collaborate with Jordan Otis um, and bringing a lot of Americana to the fair. So for people who don't know, so also part of the newness this year, besides the location at McDonald Farm, which is so beautiful. It really is. Um, is the sponsorship with Little Debbie. They're the title sponsor for the fair. Mm -hmm. So Jordan Otis, who you mentioned, Jeremy, has a McKee connection, yes. right? Yes, granddaughter. She's the granddaughter. Mm -hmm. Right. So is she going to be singing with the orchestra? Or? Well, she's doing a set before the orchestra, and then she'll collaborate with us. Okay. Um, as we dovetail into our set. Okay, so let's talk about the orchestra. How excited is the group? I'm very excited. Um, we've been doing the um, Freedom Celebration for years in, at College Dale mm -hmm. every 4th of July. Um, and this is the first time we've been able to ex expand out and, and to join with um, Karen and the Hamilton County Fair yeah. um, in, in doing this. So you mentioned a kind of a slice of Americana uh, that we'll hear when you're on performing yes. that night. Are they going to be familiar tunes? Yes and no. Um, we'll start off with a veteran salute. Because um, it is Veterans Day weekend. Veterans Day, and we d definitely want to bring to the forefront, you know, why it is we can gather as a community, as families, as friends, um, to um, honor the Americans. And then we'll break into some tunes that are maybe unfamiliar, like Aaron Copeland, but things that are very familiar, by like John Williams. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Star Wars. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Return, um, you know, isn't it true? You, you hear you hear the name John Williams, and I think a lot of people go, "Oh, wait, I should know him," and you can't even begin to name all the things that he did because it's almost like if you've ever seen right. a movie, he wrote the score. Right. Yes, and he, we've got a brand new setting of um, his arrangement of the Star Spangled Banner that will open the whole show Great. with. Nice. So will that play off for the fireworks? Is that what's going to lead up to the fireworks? We will lead um, into the fireworks. Because okay. um, it is very patriotic. I mean, the whole thing is supporting wreaths across Chattanooga. Okay. We're just going to lay a wreath at every um, mm -hmm. deceased veteran's grave. At Christmas, grade. yeah. Yeah, at, at Christmas, which is something that they've tried to do before, but have never done in full. Yeah. And this is going to hopefully be that push that actually gets a wreath on every one of them. Linda Mines has been behind that for such a long time yeah. because it's a, it's a national effort. Reads yeah, across reads across America. Across America. Absolutely. And then each location that has a national cemetery puts as much elbow grease into it as you wish, right? right. Mm -hmm. And it's been heartbreaking to not see a wreath at every grave. Absolutely. I mean, there is just a certain level of funding and participation that has to go into that. Mm -hmm. So uh, the funds from this are in large part going to support that. So does that mean then, Jake, that when people come out to the fair, there's something specific they can donate to that effort? Um, I'm sure that they can. It is just ticket prices it's just as the ticket well. Price. And okay. ticket prices are pretty affordable, too. Three-day passes are $12. Uh, kids under 10 get in free. There's student tickets and veteran discounts as well for $5. So it is very affordable, very accessible, and you know your money's going to a good cause. Okay, so I want to elaborate on that a little bit because sure. that seems almost too good to be true. <laughs> given the lineup, you know, right? yeah, I yeah. mean, given the lineup you have, because Friday night is the rodeo, Saturday is yeah. a stock full of stuff and then the concerts with Lauren Elena and Brandon Davis. Yeah, big deal. Big is deal. all of that and then of course Sunday. So is all of that part of that twelve dollar three day ticket? That price? is exactly right. Friday, Holy Saturday cow. and Sunday. And I'm, I suppose we have Mayor Womp to thank for that in large part as and well. Little Debbie, and Little Debbie, yeah. And oh yes, and all the sponsors, Little Debbie, TVFCU, shout yeah, out TVFCU. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but little Debbie of, of the title sponsor as well. Like a, a lot of thanks goes out to them for that. And as a kid growing up going to the state fairs, the county fairs, one thing that's been, not been mentioned is the rides are included in this price. Yes, oh. and yes, so, you're right. You know, you get in. All you don't have to have individual tickets to go on a ride. You know, it's all included. Twelve dollars 
for three days worth of fun, yes, absolutely. you could not feed your kids Pop-Tarts all three meals <laughs> of the day for $12. Yeah, and two big headlining concerts, um, and the ETSO and fireworks. And, okay, fireworks. so before I let you run, I mean, y'all, because y'all are a sponsor of the fireworks, you're yes. presenting them, and I know TVFCU, and there is no way this is going to be a lackluster fireworks display. I don't want to give away too much, but we're going to blow it out of the water this year. Pardon it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon the pun. It's going to be great. It's going to okay. be a perfect way to end the whole thing. Do people need to get their um, entry tickets ahead of time or can they get them day of? The best deal is the three day pass. Yeah. You can get tickets day of there. Um, and I think they're actually only selling the three day pass online. Online. So if you okay. want just the day of, you do have to go and get the ticket there. Okay. Um, but that's the best deal is the three day pass. And to so. get that, they go to HamiltonTNFair.com. That is exactly right. All right. Well, best of luck for a successful weekend. I'm sure it's going to be great. Uh, all a few people will be um, invigorated, I'm sure, to hear mm -hmm. the John Williams songs as oh, well as yes. the Aaron Copeland, which I bet they're going to know, even they though will. you think they don't. <laughs> And thanks, Jake, and everybody at TVFCU. Absolutely, thank Blow you. Blow it out of the water. <laughs> we always do.